Well, hey everyone, it's Scott again with OnlineIncomeBlogger.com and we are going to resume here on this video which is picking up from the last one where I created or chose my domain name and I went and purchased it through GoDaddy. Now you can purchase it through your uh, web host usually um, and in this case you, you can do that with Bluehost, you can do it with HostGator, anyone that you really want to. Um, but I choose to do it through GoDaddy. I like it because I can manage them a little better, and it's just I like doing it that way. Um, but what I do want to say here before we go any further is this blog that I'm creating is for me to share information about how I've made money over the past five years, uh, four and a half, almost five years. Uh, you know, I work totally from home. And I just now wanted to start sharing this. One, because I have family and friends that are curious and they want to know. So I said, well, why don't I just put it up online and then that way everybody can see it and whoever wants to do it, they can or try it. Um, the other thing was is I really do get a kick out of helping people and seeing people uh, progress and, and build businesses and get successful. But the other reason why I held off for so long is because I didn't want to be one of those people that went out and sold people products on how to make money online when I was only taking a product and showing them how to make money online. If that makes sense, I wanted to be able to do it in a niche that was not in the how to make money niche. I wanted to do it in, in another area that I you know, was passionate about but also that had nothing to do about with about making money online. Because I think a lot of people, when they start, that's what they, they get wrapped up in. I'm going to find out how to make money online, and then I'm going to teach people how to make money online, and that's how I'm going to make money. I don't like that. But what I want to say here is, yes, there will be affiliate links like this one right here, Bluehost. They will pay a portion if you go through one of my links. That's how I will be getting paid for this blog. But I'm not looking to make any money, really, right now as starting this blog on this, um, on this project. I'm really doing it. Uh, because I want to give back and in the end if someone wants to I guess kind of like pay me back yeah go through one of the links and then that company will pay me you don't have to pay me because it's gonna cost you the same no matter if you go through one of my links or not so I just want to be upfront with that alright and if you want to just go directly through Bluehost then go right ahead but if you wanted to you know give me a tip or whatever because I, I showed you something that you didn't know then go through one of my links that's it alright enough on that I just wanted to be totally upfront with you on that. All right, so here we go. So we're at Bluehost, and I'm gonna uh, go ahead and sign up, and I'm going to use the domain that I just purchased, which was online, or I'm sorry, onlineincomeblogger.com. All right, it's still new, so I gotta get used to it. All right, so here we go. So I'm just gonna go sign up, and then we're basically gonna be brought to this page right here, where it says I need a domain name or I have a domain name. So you either don't have one or you do have one, right? Pretty easy. Um, in this case, I already have one, but let me just pause here for a second. Um, I did another video a while back for uh, the photography niche that I'm involved in, and I showed people how to do it this way. So if you want to do it this way, and if you haven't purchased your domain name and you want to just do it all you know, within Bluehost, you can, and it's actually really easy. Um, so I'll leave a link to that video if you want to watch that as well. But let's just continue on here because I already have my domain name. So let's just go ahead and uh, and put that in there, onlineincomeblogger.com. And then I'm going to go ahead and click Next. And then from here, you're going to have your, uh, your information about your account. And then if you scroll down, you're going to see your package information, your billing information, and all that stuff. Obviously, I'm not going to do this in front of you. That would be silly on my part. Uh, but right here, I just wanted to talk about this real quick. Um, you know, it says $4.95 a month. That's what it equates to, but they're going to bill you for this full 36 months in advance. So $4.95 times 36, whatever that calculates to, but it's it's going to be over a couple hundred dollars. Um, here, I'm going to basically just go 12 month. They're going to bill me $6.95 a month is basically the way it works, but I'm really going to pay for a full year. All right. That's how they do it at Bluehost, um, which it's fine. That way you don't have to worry about a monthly payment. And it's kind of done with, but that's how it works. So six ninety five, say seven bucks, you're talking seventy, you know, eighty four dollars for the year is about what it's going to calculate to. But now, if this was a website that you were going to renew again, then you may, might want to go with the thirty six month. But if you're just playing around with a certain niche or whatever, you might want to just go with the twelve month price. That's what I'm going to do in this case, and then I can always um, upgrade it, and they'll notify you when it's coming due again. But I'm going to pause the video right now, fill in all my information, and then I'll pick up where I left off. Actually, before we keep going here, I'm actually editing the video, 
and I noticed that I didn't tell you to uncheck uh, these two boxes. So I would uncheck these two where it's Site Lock, Domain Security, and Site Backup Pro. Um, I didn't do that, but I didn't tell you that I didn't do it. So I just wanted to be clear on that. I did not get those two services. So with that being said, let's continue. And then once you have all that information done, you're going to go ahead and click Next. And then it's going to say congratulations and it's going to uh, send a, a confirmation email to the email that you used and then from there you're going to be able to uh, go ahead and log in. Now here it says choose a password for your account. Before you log in to your account or use your new hosting features you first need to create a secure password. Please note this password and hosting payments information. Uh, as they are used for your account verification purposes. Okay, whatever. So I have to create that. So I'm going to do that again, and I will obviously not allow anybody to see this. And then it'll bring you to your account login page. So then from here, I'm just going to go ahead and put in my domain name, onlineincomeblogger.com, and then we'll put my password in and see if it takes. And then basically you're going to be dumped right in here to the C panel. And this is where all of the behind the scenes stuff happens. And don't get confused by this. Uh, it's actually simpler than it looks. But the one thing I do want to point out is that you may be delayed in getting into your C panel. And you may have to go in and retrieve the email, which the email sometimes can take, you know, 15, 20 minutes, maybe a half hour to get. And sometimes they'll even call you on the phone to verify your account before they'll let you into the C panel. So just wanted to point that out. Let's just go over to the email that I did receive already and uh, this one right here it shows you all of the information like right here it'll give you all of that your username um, you know you can update your password these name servers are what we're gonna talk about real quickly um, afterwards to show you how to actually point your domain name to Bluehost and uh, and we'll you know we'll do that in a minute but anyway I just wanted to, to show you that but the other thing that you'll do now is if you aren't dumped into your cPanel is what you'll want to do after you create your password and stuff is just go over to Bluehost and then go right here to control panel and then it's going to ask you to log in. Just use your web address that you've, uh, that you've created and then your password and then just click log in and then it should take you over to your cPanel and just like that now we're logged in alright so everything is cool. All right, so now let's just go ahead and um, we want to install our blog, okay, on uh, our server or on the host and use our web address. Now, let me just quickly, we're going to go over to GoDaddy, okay, because now we have the name servers, okay, and we want to point that URL to our, uh, our blog, all right, so we can get that kind of working behind the scenes, all right. So, uh, what you want to do is log into your account. And then once you log in, it usually just defaults to this page or a page similar. Just go to All Products, Domains, and then go to Domain Management. And then once you get to this section, it's going to default you to all of your domain names. Now, if you only have one, there's only going to be one there. In my case, I have about 45 domain names, and uh, I'm going to block some of them out just because I don't want everybody seeing my domains that I have out there, niche sites and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, you're just going to find your URL that you just purchased. And then basically after you click on that, it's going to come to this page. And this is all of the management for uh, your domain name that you just purchased. We're going to want to go to name servers right here and then click on set name servers. Now I've already done this because I wanted to show you it live on as far as like what it looks like. But this will be a default. This will be the GoDaddy name servers. I went ahead and I got these two name servers from Bluehost. All right, And I'm going to show you where to get them right now. If we go back to our cPanel, you can either get them in here by going to domains or you can get it from that welcome email right here. Okay? And it's usually like NS1 and NS2 and it's just the host itself. All right, but it might may be different numbers depending, but it's na name server 1 and 2 is what you want. And like I said, you can find that in the welcome email or you can just find it here if I go to domains and then I go to the domain down here okay and if I had more than one I would want to select that but I only have the one and then I'm just gonna go over to here where it says main and name servers click on name servers and then there they are the same ones alright but they save you this step by just giving you that welcome email so you might want to save that or write them down uh, copy and paste them whatever alright so then basically you just go in here you copy and paste them in there and just click OK and then what it, it'll usually say is you know this can take up to 
you know, like right here, it says uh, it usually takes two hours. However, it may take up to 48 hours. Um, and you just say, okay. Uh, I think mine took about 15 or 20 minutes to actually uh, get synced up to the, uh, the domain name. All right, so that's going to pretty much wrap up this video. I don't want to make these videos too long. The next part will be me actually installing the blog, the actual WordPress blog. So if you want to follow along, go to the next video. If you are watching this on YouTube, you can either subscribe to this channel and you can get updates and the upcoming videos, or you can just go to onlineincomeblogger.com and you can find everything over there with this case study and follow along with my progress. So that's it. Talk to you later.